Yes! Love physics because it works. Let's begin today's class by a story. And then the story will be followed by this demo. To tell you the story, I have to take you to 1665, some 357 years ago. To tell you the story of a young man, a 20, 30 year old man sitting under an apple tree, all of a sudden he saw an apple fall from above. He looked at the sky and he saw a moon and he asked a key question, if apple fall, does the moon also fall? He wanted to solve this falling apple and falling moon problem. To solve this problem, he had to invent a new branch of calculus and use the calculus to lay the foundation of physics. Now today, we're gonna also use apple to show this demo to understand the laws of motion. The same thing, the same type of thinking the same type of question I want you to be asking like the young man, like that 20, 30 year old man some 357 years ago, all right? So for you, it's like right now, 1665. And, and you're gonna be um, observing a phenomena and you're gonna be asking questions because discovery only happens if and only if you ask question. Now you see, a, an apple is sitting on the top of a hoop. Maybe some of you will, will, will call it a pink object, but let's call it apple for, for simplicity. An apple is sitting on the top of hoop. Hoop is sitting on the top of a water, on the top of a bottle, and the bottle is sitting on the top of a table. Okay, so the next question is, how many forces acting on these apple you probably think there are no forces acting on this apple because the apple is not moving but you would be wrong because there are balance force acting on this apple exactly two forces acting on this apple two forces right the force due to gravity pulling it down force due to uh, the table we call it force due to hoof we call it a normal force both forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Therefore, there is no net force and object is at rest. All right, so therefore the object is rest. Now we discover why the object is rest. It's because balance force, because two forces are equal in magnitude, opposite in direction. So now we know the definition of force. Force is push and pull. Pull by gravity and push by the hoop. What if I remove the hoop? What, what if I swap away the hoop with applying some force at the x direction? What will happen? Yes! Love physics because it works. Let me explain. After I remove after I removed the normal force, there was only one force acting on it. And that is the force of gravity. And force of gravity pulling it down. 